Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be going over another Carbon Computer Cyberdeck, the Pi Terminal, which is a pretty nice device, man. It's powered by the same Raspberry Pi 5 that you'll find in other Cyberdecks, except this one's got a really nice discreet look to it. I field tested this device for about a week and I can honestly say out of the other cyber decks that I've taken out in public, this one had a very natural look to it. So it doesn't really bat any eyes as opposed to maybe having a U console with the hacker gadgets all in one expansion board and a whole bunch of antennas. And th this is definitely a nice war driver with some added attachments and we'll get to that later. But. I'd like to show you guys just what makes this Cyberdeck as cool as I think it is. Cyberdecks are an alternative to laptops, and I personally love how many different Cyberdecks have been built around the Raspberry Pi. And if you wanted to build your own Cyberdeck and you were interested in learning Linux or you wanted your own personal hacking deck to go, I'd suggest that you grab yourself a Pi 5 and look at the different projects that exist. There are no rules. You can make whatever type of computer you want, and that's what makes a Cyberdeck so cool. Whether you're on the field, playing video games, browsing the web, using Kali, using Blackarch, or just plain old Debian, it's all up to you and I think that's pretty cool man. Now one thing we got to mention is this is sort of like the perfect Linux machine to go. The back slant on the back makes it so that you can hold this in your hands and it gives it a nice comfortable feel to it. And I, I really like that. The screen is a Pimeroni Hyperpixel 4 inch touch screen so it's incredibly intuitive and I think that this is, might be one of the best screens to put in a Cyberdeck project. The keyboard is very responsive. We can just sudo apt upgrade dash dash y. There we go. And yeah, it, it get, I mean the keyboard is very nice. Uh, we can root into. We, yeah, we can definitely help. Yeah, I really like that keyboard, man. Now I like the slant for you to add an active cooler and it just blow out, which is it's doing its job. I wouldn't say it's blowing, but it's definitely good. The um, the slot right here is for easy access to uh, micro HDMI, USB-C, which you won't really need to use that USB-C since you have that charging USB-C right there. For the X1203, you have your I.O. here on the left and that Ethernet jack might be the most important aspect of this device. And the reason why I say that is because this automatically becomes the best admin tool. Out of all the Cyberdex, this one is kind of one that is made to go. And it doesn't really give you any shady looks. It's a very, very nice device. Now a good addition to the Pi Terminal is the U-Blox 7 USB dongle, which allows you to add your G a GPS to your Pi Cyberdeck, which makes for like the best war driver, man. And I think that that's a nice addition because at any given time, if you don't want to use a GPS, you can just unplug it and that's it. No fear, no paranoia, That's it's all in the dongle, man. And I, I think that's pretty cool. Now next, I wanna show you guys a few differences between the Pi Terminal and the Pi Edge. There's nothing wrong with the Pi Edge. I think the Pi Edge is a really cool device, but they use the same keyboard, although not the same screen, and the same BMS. It's just the form factor. The Pi Terminal is a lot more intuitive, and I like that. The Pi Edge is, I, arguably a little bit more upgradable, but if you have everything you need on a Pi Terminal, you're good to go. Now, I know I've mentioned this already like three times, but see this slant on the Pi Terminal? I like its slimness as opposed to the Pi Edge's thickness. Uh, the Pi Edge is kind of boxy, and I like the way it looks, but the Pi Terminal has kind of won me over, especially in the realm of portability. They use the same keyboard, they use the same BMS, the same batteries, although the Pi Edge's display is 4.3 inches and the Pi Maroni Hyperpixel is just a plain old 4 inches, which I know that isn't like much of a difference, but and this is still, to me, significant. I, I like the Pi Terminal a lot. All in all, it's a nice device and I enjoy testing it. There's a lot more Cyberdex available at carboncomputers.us and for a discount, use our code MAYHEM. 
We look forward to showing you a lot more different types of tech and we thank you for giving us a platform to even do this, man. You guys are awesome. Thank you for everything. We hope you like this video. And if you like this video, we go over different variations of tech daily in our YouTube shorts. So we hope to see you there. We'll see you next time.